So sa video na to, ishishare ko sa iyo on how you can be happy. Even if isa kang entrepreneur na sobrang taas na mga pangarap mo, paano ka bang maging masaya kahit hindi mo pa naaabot yung mga pangarap mo? Now, let me share with you a story. Years ago, yung mga racket ko o yung mga extra income ko ay galing sa mga pageants, galing sa mga modeling, no? And one day, nakapasok ako sa tinatawag natin na Mr. and Miss Chinatown. So, it's a national pageant. Okay? So, yung mismo pageant na to, is i-air siya sa ABS-CBN, no? And usually, pag nanalo ka sa pageant na to, magiging artista ka. So, yun yung pangarap ko. Since before, magiging artista ako. If you do not know yet, nag-PBB ako. Nag-audition lang sa PBB, pero hindi natanggap. Nag-audition ako sa isang TV reality show sa GMA. I forgot the name. Hindi rin ako natanggap. And this time, may pageant, Mr. Miss Chinatown, pumasok ako ulit. Okay? So, to make the long story short, natanggap ako. Lumutad ako sa Manila. And there, I stayed for... 2 to 3 months. Ngayon, on my first day sa pageant, kasi just to give an idea, sa parang national pageant, one day lang yung pageant night. Pero like 99% of the time, you are gonna be going out, meeting the sponsors. We go to shows like ABS-CBN shows. We went to GGV, yung morning show ng ABS-CBN. Umagang kay ganda, right? You know, these things. That is what we're gonna do while waiting for the pageant. It's like promoting the pageant at the same time, parang promoting our sponsors, okay? Almost every day, meron kami activity, okay? Pag weekend, photo shoot namin or practice namin or something like that. So, meron talaga activity every day. And imagine this, no? From, I was staying in Rizal. So from Rizal to Makati, that was, that was the first day. I woke up 5 a.m. Okay? Kasi yung appointment namin is 9 a.m. 9 a.m. yung appointment namin, so sobrang excited ko gumisa pa 4 a.m. Sabi ko, I will be the earliest na maka-attend or uh, na dumating sa meeting place namin. So gumisa ko 5 a.m. and then umulis ako sa bahay 6 a.m. So from 6 a.m. nagsakay ko ng bus. Shockingly, I thought I would arrive there by 7 a.m. Something like that. Shockingly, I arrived at 10 a.m. Okay? So, 6 a.m. ako umalis, 10 a.m. ako dumating. And pagdating ko doon, syempre late na ako. Late ako ng one hour. And I was so sad kasi sabi ko sa sarili ko, Grabe, I thought I was the first person to arrive. I woke up at 6 a.m. Dumating ako ng 10 a.m. This is crazy. Right? Eh, nung time na yun, wala pa akong pang grab. So, I was just commuting talaga, no? And pinagalitan ako. Bakit ako late? O all of that. So, I was so down. I was so depressed. Pumunta ako sa CR. Umiyak ako. I called my partner. Sabi ko, I wanna go home. I can't take this. Because first day ko pa lang, four hours na yung travel time ko. So, most probably, pag babalik ako, four hours. Again, eight hours. That's crazy. And I'm a person kasi who takes care of my time. I wanna spend my time wisely. In this case, I'm spending like 8 hours traveling. So, from day number one, I already knew na it was a hard journey for me in the next few months. So, what happened was, moving forward two months after, no, I felt like I was in hell. Because yung mga activities namin, Instead of nag enjoy ako, is nagsasuffer ako every activity namin. However, meron ako nakita na kasama from Cebu din. So, parehas kami from Cebu, we flew to Manila, we found a place to stay, and pare din kami magta-travel. Pero, shockingly, yung reaction niya was different from mine. Yung reaction niya, he was really happy. Every activity, nag enjoy siya. He was happy, I was sad. And sabi ko sa sarili ko, the only reason why I am doing this is because I want to win and I'll be an artista and I'll be rich if I'm an artista and whatsoever. Now, two months after pageant night, I did not win. Hindi ako natawag, hindi ako nakapasok sa top 10. And that is the first time hindi ako nakapasok sa top 10. It's because, in my experience, pag nakapasok ako sa top 10, there is a high chance na I'm able to win because praktisado na ako sa Q&A. Okay? And I was shocked, including my family, shocked din sila. Parang natulala ako ng ilang araw. Now, yung kasama ko from Cebu, he felt the same way. He was sad, 
Pero after a few days, naging masaya siya ulit. In fact nga, my partner wanted to surprise me, birthday surprise, and nashock ako. Nashock ako dahil ayaw ko munang kausapin yung mga friends ko because I don't want them to ask me, Hey, what happened? Right? I can't answer that question. But, na-invite din yung kasama ko. Okay, by his, his name is Jonathan. Na, we are on the same pageant. He was also invited to the birthday surprise. And he was so happy. And from that day on, I learned a lesson. What is that lesson? Now, look at this. Fibo, Jonathan. We are from Cebu. We flew to Manila. We experienced the same activities. I was sad. He was happy. We both lost. He was sad for a few days or just a day. And then after that, he was happy. I was sad like for life. And the difference here is that iba yung mindset namin. Yung sa kanya, he enjoyed the process. Ako, I will only be happy and I will only enjoy if I reach the destination. Now, what am I saying? I learned the lesson. It was because if I enjoy the process, if ini-enjoy ko yung mga activities ko when I was in Manila, making friends, to the point hindi nga ako nakapag-friend eh. Kasi sabi ko, if I'll make friends to them, I'll win Mr. Congeniality, so how does that affect my score, right? But he was making friends. He was building connections. He was enjoying every single activity. But the lesson that I learned there was, what if I was applying his mindset? What if I had the same mindset as him? Kung saan, ini-enjoy niya yung proseso. And whether or not ma-hit yung destination, whether or not manalo siya or matalo, he's happy. Now, I'm relating this in life. It is because there's a possibility na we will achieve the destination. There's a possibility na mananalo tayo, makukuha natin yung mga goals natin. Pero yung hindi natin alam is kailan. There's a possibility that you will buy your first house. There's a possibility you're gonna buy your car. Okay? There's a possibility you're gonna hit 10 million. But what we do not know for sure is when are we gonna hit that. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this, it's because a lot of people, nagiging masaya lang sila pag nahit nila yung 10 million, pag nakabili sila ng kotse, pag nabili nila yung bahay, pag nahit nila ito. Parang their happiness is based on a condition, which is what I did. And because of that experience ko yun, my life was miserable. It was not happy. And I realized na happiness Ikaw lang pala magde-define yun. Ako lang pala magde-define yun. If sasabihin ko sa sarili ko, if I'll be happy no matter what happens, I'm gonna enjoy the process. For example, in business, I'm gonna enjoy the challenges. I'm gonna enjoy the the problems. Then, I'm gonna live my day as if it's the last day. I'm gonna be happy every day kahit hindi ko pa na-achieve yung goal ko. Now, eto yung maganda. Sabihin natin si Alpha tsaka si Bravo. Okay? Si Alpha, sabi niya, magiging masaya lang siya pag nakabili siya ng kotse. Sabi ni Bravo, magiging masaya ako kahit hindi ko pa mabili yung kotse ko. Now, assuming narating nila yung kotse, si Alpha, dun pa lang siya naging masaya. Si Bravo, naging masaya siya na hit yung kotse, pero kahit hindi na hit yung kotse, naging masaya pa rin siya. So, ibig sabihin, Bravo, if you look at their life right now, they may have the same wealth, but their happiness would be different. Now, I'm sharing you with this because most probably my audience are business owners and entrepreneurs. And you might have the same mindset as me before, na maging masaya ka lang pag makuha mo yung goal mo. But I want you, based on experience, to change that mindset right now. I want you to enjoy the process, not the destination. Because pag ini-enjoy mo yung proseso, you would not feel miserable, Alam mo, parang feeling mo naglalaro ka lang. And since then, I'm thankful na experience ko yun. Because since then, lahat na ginagawa ko ngayon, I travel, I talk on stages, I create contents, I build businesses. I do it with a mindset of, will I enjoy the process of doing this? Or am I doing this just for the destination? Because if I'll be, I'll be doing it just for the destination, I would not do it. But if I'm doing this, because ini-enjoy ko yung bawat process, yung bawat step, yung bawat day. Okay? Gagawin ko yan because I'm living life to the fullest. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng living life to the fullest. And everything starts on your mindset 
everything starts on how you look at things. Now, if you like this content, I want you to go ahead and click subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And of course, let me know in the comments below what are your biggest learnings and takeaways. This is Fibo Lim. Achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in our next video.